Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl, my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Taurus. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Taurus, which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way Taurus. And before we get into this reading today, I just want to remind you to use your intuition Taurus because put it in perspective. Just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. These cards here are just meant to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider Taurus but never making the decision in your life because it's, because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards, honey. So let's just jump into your reading for this week, Taurus. I already uh, pulled some cards just so I could get an idea of uh, where you're currently at right now, Taurus, and then uh, we'll just go from there. So starting this out, we have the star card, uh, Archangel Jophiel, number 17, uh, equaling to eight. So if you're into numerology, write down the number eight uh, to look up after this reading, of course, uh, to see how uh, the, what messages the number eight uh, has that would be of resonance to you as well as when it comes to Archangels, if you're open to working with Archangels, Taurus, uh, Archangel Jophiel would be the perfect individual who's reaching out to you at this time, right? But let me read off what this card says. It says, happy times, make positive, uh, optimistic, uh, long-term plans, and being on the right path. So a very comforting message, don't you think, Taurus? Uh, kind of just being affirmed that you're making forward progress. Uh, the star card also in normal tarot is the is the definitive meaning of it is kind of a wish fulfillment sort of thing. So I do feel like uh, overall for you, uh, Taurus, it seems to be whatever it is that you have been um, pushing yourself for, because I do get the sense that you're pushing your boundaries with something, especially since we have this uh, based off of your other cards as well, paired with this star card, which I'll be showing you in a moment. Um, it kind of gives me this sense here, Taurus, that you guys have like, are like taking action on something. Let's see here. Yeah, you guys got the boot card. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yeah, it just seems to be like, Taurus, like, because I know in your bonus reading, which I'll leave a link to somewhere around here, I think over here, Taurus, for you to check out if you want to. I know in your bonus reading, we were talking about how you guys seem to have, like, are in this process of shutting down this old phase, Taurus, and it seems to be like, now that you're shutting out this old situation that has, that was uh, weighing heavy on you and just distracting you in some level, whether it's like a bad habit or just like an individual or like a old, like, you know, tying up loose ends, essentially, Taurus. With the boot card saying, you just is affirming to me what I was getting of where, uh, just, you're putting, it seems to be you're just putting more effort in. And I don't even think, now that I'm thinking about it, Taurus, I don't think I showed you the cards that I drew. So we had the star card, uh, but we also have the eight of water, the queen of fire, with the page of water. So, uh, yeah, uh, very, very, very good cards. Uh, so, you know, going along with that message of what I was saying, how uh, your bonus reading to this one, it seems to be correlating so beautifully. I'm kind of smiling because you get this eight of water here, which would be the eight of cups in normal tarot. Taurus. This card says a desire to move on, uh, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So this is confirmed, like basically reaffirming the message of what I was saying, like you're closing out, like this eight of cups situation was what you were got, you Tauruses were coming out of this process of just, 
uh, accepting that the situation here just no longer is for you. The situation here, hearing is just like uh, stale, just getting stale. And you, for you, Taurus, at this point, it seems like you're just ready for um, a change of pace. You're just ready to have forward movement, but just like, you know, trying to just break out of this routine. It seems like you guys are really trying to just uh, spice things up for yourself um, and starting to. Uh, Live your life. Live, what was that? I just even said, honey. Live your life with less inhibitions. It does feel like, um, even if it's kind of unrelated to what uh, this Eight of Cups situation, uh, where you guys are just leaving that old, what have you, um, it does feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, like you're inhibit. I don't. I hear scratching from Tulip right now, and I know she's not scratching my blankets. <laughs> as i was saying i'm sorry taurus um <laughs> i get this sense here where it's like you guys just feel a little bit more confident i don't know it just feels like there's a little bit more perk to your step now even if you guys were going through like a little bit of a rough um transition with that old um phase that you're letting go of it does seem like i don't know it just feels like you guys are just getting becoming more comfortable with who you are in your own body. Uh, the scales card, yeah, you guys are keeping your life. It just feels like you're really on this progression of bringing, bringing a lot more balance into your life, Taurus. So I really celebrate you for that. Uh, you guys really are in this uh, state of just, uh, really, you guys are really exuding um, in terms of a major arcana, like the Empress energy, very much so Empress energy, giving birth to your dreams, but while also being very, um, not falling victim to what's happening to you. Because I do, I know for some of you Tauruses, you guys are like dealing with some major hurdles in your life right now, but it's just like one of those things of where I feel like you're kind of going, it's like it is what it is, right? You got to keep going forward. And going forward is what it is that you are doing with the Queen of Fire, or the Queen of Wands and Normal to Royal Taurus. This card says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. So Taurus, this is what I was hinting at before. Um, earlier in your reading where I was saying that it seems to be like you guys with the star card, uh, it feels like you going into your right path. It just feels like you guys are leaning further into um, something that kind of just excites you. I feel like this this card right here is how you Tauruses are adding spice to your life. Um, whether that is like, you know, picking up a hobby or whether that even is for some of you Tauruses, it's just like pushing yourselves on a professional level. Um, or maybe even for some of you guys, it's just, uh, yeah, I just feel like overall, it just feels like you guys are pushing yourself and, um, pushing your own comfort zone with kind of all things, right? It feels like, you know, maybe before you weren't really trying to, um, such a random example, but like, uh, maybe before you weren't really ever cooking your meals and like the meals that you did cook, it was like very minimal. Now it kind of feels like you guys are kind of just going out of your way to cook healthier meals. Um, you guys are going out of your way to, uh, per, like getting up earlier so that you can make time to like work out or getting up, um, and putting more hours in at work, but not also putting more hours at work but having it be more productive like it just feels like you guys are in a very uh productive state of mind which is really really cool to see um let's see here i want to pull another tea card to close out this queen of fire this is a really good this and honestly taurus this is probably the best energy that i've seen you guys in for quite some time honey um you guys are really um in this process of uh growth <laughs> i know i just kind of like blanked out right there uh the temperance card so a card again really speaking of balance uh taurus like don't mind me i'm like moving cards around i wish y'all could see like my setup right now i'm like a mad scientist honey with all these tarot cards all around me um this temperance card i want to point out with the two cups here Normally, just in the sense, normal sense of terror before we get into the imagery, honey. Uh, the Temperance card is the card of divine timing, right? Where uh, it feels like now at this point, Taurus, you guys are more in tune with things. Maybe at one point, you guys were trying to rush things or feeling impatient. 
Um, but with this temperance card, when it's paired with the queen of fire, I get this sense, Taurus, that you guys are more, you guys are comfortable with your flow now. You guys are, um, just going at it at a steady pace. And as I was saying before, um, remember you had the scales card with the eight of cups or the eight of water that we were talking about, Taurus. Um, with this temperance card here, this is the same thing where it's like, again, cups balancing the promotions. Um, and so it does feel like you guys, I feel like it reaffirms the message from before of like what it is, whatever it was, Taurus, that you walk, walked away from with this eight of cups this eight of water um this was like the situation the object the person whatever it was for you Taurus. that was like the last thing that was really keeping you out of balance and now finally walking away from this um seemingly like hurdle that's been affecting you for a long time i get a sense for it Taurus. now uh things are coming a lot more in balance for you now it feels like your engines are finally feeling started again, as we have a reference as that might be. And uh, it feels like you guys are just honoring uh, your calling a lot more. As dramatic as it sounds, it just feels towards like you guys are just in this state of um, very like refreshing forward movement, something that you're not. I want because here's the thing I'm aware of like how I'm saying this. And I don't want it to seem like you guys, Taurus, have been in this place of being stale, but it's like up until this point like even the work that you were doing was really fulfilling you it was kind of just like doing it just to survive i feel like taurus and it just feels like now like the the actions and the efforts that you're doing at this point um really just makes you feel good i don't know it just you it just now it like seems like there's this switch now in you taurus that like the things that you are doing really like just makes you feel good about yourself so it's just i don't know honey it's just cool to see uh, we have the page of water or the page of cups coming in here. This is the journey that you guys are currently on, I feel like. Uh, this card says, a new person enters your life, a relationship that begins a new phase and heightens psychic abilities, Taurus. So I want to point out, I pulled a card for you, Taurus. And this is one of the cards I put to the side because I wanted to put a pin on it, but I didn't want to address it because it felt so out of place with the message that I was going with, well, at the point, it don't matter. Details, I guess, don't really matter, Taurus. Anyways, uh, something I want to point out with this page of cups, this is going to be for very specific because I do feel like um, this is a situation that this energy is like already present. I don't want this to come off as where it's just like looking around for any type of fair man, honey. Like, because let's be real, honey. Like, we all are like, the majority of us were all like, any like on a given chance like most of you tourists as i can say you're probably running into a fair man right but the i pulled the fair marin card which says dealings or relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair and with this page of water card when it says a new person entering your life now we can say that this is like a romantic message right I don't feel like that's the case, actually. I feel like um, this is this whole entire reading has been more so leaning into Taurus's like your passions, and so I kind of get this sense here. It's like more so like a collaborative energy here, Taurus of like where um, I know it sounds super vague, but it just feels like. Um, this type of individual would like some type of individual is just somehow associated with this queen of fire and like what it is that you're pushing yourself to do now um taking this a little bit further uh relationships beginning a new phase like i don't know it's such a weird message and i know this is not going to resonate for all tauruses but it does just feel like um just in the sense like i just feel like <laughs> uh there is just some type of collaborative effort with some type of like male individual it doesn't have to be fair obviously not right and because with tarot you there's like only so many cards that you're limited with but i do get the sense long tangent to like wrapping that up is just i do feel like there's some type of male individual that is attached to like you guys going down your current path right now um so Honey, we really struggled getting that last part out, Taurus. My gosh, y'all can see why I avoided saying it until I was like prepared for it. So, 
<laughs> so now, Taurus, let's get into uh, what it is that you should be looking out for this week, what it is that you should be uh, self-aware of, right? Because that's a little bit of self-awareness does everybody some good, don't you think, Taurus? Let's see what's going on for y'all this week. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get these cards set up for you. So we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Knight of Wands. I don't have my glasses. Uh, as well as the Two of Swords, Taurus. Taurus, the only thing I want to say here is there seems to be like a choice um, while you're on your journey of that Queen of Wands that we were talking about before, it does seem to be like while you're going down your path, right? Honoring that flame as the Queen of Wands, right? The, the Queen of Wands is an individual who just really honors that spark, right? No matter like how small it is and how like seemingly silly and what have you, right? Um, in this message, it kind of brings the sense of on your journey, right? With that wands, you're going to be presented at some point with a crossroads with this two of swords, right? Now with the two of swords, I like to think of this as a situation of um, making a decision for um, matters of the mind and matters of the heart, honey. And so for you, Taurus, and you have it paired with the queen of pentacles like this, it's almost like spirits bringing forth a message of reminding you to make the decisions that you're making, continue making them for like what's best for you in your best interest, not in the best interest of other people's feelings. Uh, now, granted, I don't want this for you, Taurus, to be using this as an excuse and be like, oh, let me not think about other people's feelings and how my actions will affect them. No, but you know, let's just say that like, um, you're in a situation where um, you get offered like a beautiful job opportunity, but you would have to leave this old situation with, you know, this old situation maybe you have a history with, and, you know, and you're like you're always helping your friends, but this other opportunity pays really nicely, honey, right? Don't feel bad about taking that opportunity, right? Just as an example, right? It's one of those things. Don't just like, <laughs> you get the point, honey. I feel like I, I feel like I'm talking, we're all adults here. You guys get the point of what I'm trying to say. Like, don't be, don't be a, don't be a bad person in your, uh, the decisions that you're making, but don't also limit and slow down your own progression because out of fear of making other people uncomfortable with you shining your light. Make sense? So you get the point. All that being said, Taurus, now let's look at the blessings that are in the progress for y'all, right? Because I like to be a little bit nosy uh, before we close this reading off for y'all. But overall, a really good reading, Taurus, don't you think? All right, let's see here. Where are the blessings to come for my beautiful Tauruses? That are in the works, rather, I like to say, rather. So we have the, what is this, Page of Wands with the Seven of Cups, as well as the Knight of Swords, two knights, both of the knights that are the fastest moving. You guys are really on a forward um, progression to something new because you have those two knights, you have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, and then you also have the Page of Wands with the Page of Water or the Page of uh, cups. Uh, pages represents new beginnings, uh, going into like new beginnings, right? And also I want to talk about, um, with this card, it talks about in terms, of, this card itself hones in on the bottom, like the messages of like a person, um, new phase with the person, um, a new person entering your life. The cups also represents opportunities. Uh, so with the Page of Wands, this is my fresh start card. Remember what I said earlier towards where it feels like you guys wanted to just, or like after you put the old situation behind you with the Eight of Cups, you guys were just ready for a fresh start. And it seems like the blessings are in the work for you guys, Taurus. Further you continue down this path and you keep with this momentum that you guys are going, 
uh, tours. A lot of opportunities are going to be presented to you, right? A lot of opportunities. And in this dynamic as well, Seven of Cups is like a little bit of indecision. While you have a lot of opportunities, a lot of cups to choose from, indecision. Knight of Swords, also, y'all you know, know I have to be a little bit, keep it real, keep, keep y'all humble and keep, you know. <laughs> but uh, the Knight of Swords is also a card where it's like, yes, forward progression, but it's also the easiest knight to uh, get in their head. So then it kind of correlates to this message that we were saying before of uh, Taurus about making the decisions that were, that are best for you. So uh, I love how that all came together, Taurus. But that is the cards that I have for you for this weekly tarot reading. Remember, Taurus, I did your bonus reading if you want to check that out. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Let me know which tarot cards resonate with you in the comments below. And then also, honey, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just your zodiac sign, Taurus. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to share my videos with them. And maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Taurus, I love you so much.